Everyone, Life Rake, Labyrinth of Doho. Session 6. Let's get this party started. It's been a while since I've done a bit of this, so... Floor 7, I think, is yeah, where we left off. Let's get started on that train. Options, options, options. You can tell it's an annoying puzzle? Okay. I don't know how you can do such things, but apparently you can. Another snazzy tune. Why is the music in this game so good? I think the theme of this space is space. Mirage, Mirage, Plasma Shell, and Ancient Soldier. Wonder if I'm gonna run into people like Yu Yu Ko on here. Around here. It's a resident run into Suika on the uh, previous floor, honestly. Interesting. He seems to be pretty weak to physical. Or at least not alone. Yeah, they are. And then a, uh. The rest of these, I'm not so sure. Uh, we'll have Alice take care of them. Seems simple enough so far. Let's go north. Another one? Oh, this well, this is one I can travel through. Uh, is this floor teleporter maze? I love teleporter mazes, and that is sarcasm, my friends. I do not like... I do not like teleportation mazes. Not one bit. Something tells me I don't really need Chen for this. Oh, I needed Ch Chen to kill this fish. It's not a fish, that's a slash rifter? Yeah. This game just got weird. And enemies just got tougher. At least slightly. Okay, so the game just got harder. Congratulations. The game is now harder. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh no. My favorite. It said no one. I don't like teleporter mazes. This is giving me Adrenalisi Floor 29 flashbacks. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Oh boy. Can Chin kill one of these? Yes, good. That way. Whoa! I'm glad Alice has at least some HP and defense invested. That could have probably that probably would have killed her otherwise. <laughs> that is scary. That is very scary. I don't like it one bit. Do not want return to inanimate. No, oh, no, gonna have to be lasers, isn't it? Lasers. Man. I don't remember you guys being so hard to kill. Apparently they are. Ooh boy. I might have to try to, a different team setup. This one might be dated. Oh boy, my favorite. More teleporters. I love teleporters. Did I mention this? No, I, I am very... Uh, it's gonna be one of these games. Should I grab a pen and paper and start mapping it out? Because this is only going to get more confusing as we find more teleporters. Perfect Freeze will do this. Oh, we don't have enough SP for a Perfect Freeze. Maybe a Diamond Blizzard will do it. Yeah, close enough. Okay, we're gonna need to find a better team for handling the normal sets. That or this is probably just the enemies getting naturally stronger and I'm just not high enough level for them. Something along those lines. Don't think Yugi will solve our problems. Or Rumia. Ugh, okay, so let's try... We'll try Raymu and Marissa. Basically leave the setup unchanged, except with more Raymu and more Marissa. Maybe that will solve some problems. Maybe. Maybe. Um, uh, teleporter maze. Why? Why did it have to be a teleporter maze? Why did it have to be snakes? Why did it have to be teleporter maze? Teleporter maze. Oh boy. 
memorize knowledge. What does it mean? What does it mean? It doesn't seem like the memorized knowledge has too much health. Which is good. As far as I'm concerned. Chen's gonna need to find time to focus. That was a long hallway. It, this leads to a teleporter, doesn't it? Don't worry, I'm psychic. The Edge and Odyssey Floor 29 flashbacks are real right now. <sighs> Ball of Lightning. That's very specific. Is it wind resistance or something? Lightning, lightning, ball of lightning, ball of lightning. Magic plus 20%. Who would love magic? Oh, yeah, you. You would love magic plus 20%. Except you're using silencer. Oh, you don't need this anymore. Bam. Problem solved. Keep your SP bonuses and stuff, though. This is very obnoxious. It would be faster for me to go back using the, this function than it would to stay in there and backtrack. Because that brings me right back to the top of the stairwell. Okay, that's just a dead end. Good. Didn't want it to get too complicated on me. So does this go down and connects back? Down? Yeah, it probably does. How much... Okay, yeah. The knowledge doesn't seem to be able to take much damage. Nice. Though, once again, the Floor 29 flashbacks do not help. We can go left. We can also go left if we go upwards. Okay, let's go this way. Is it like... Is it like symmetrical? If it's symmetrical, maybe it will be easier to handle. Especially if the teleports are also symmetrical, but that's probably what's not symmetrical. Because of all- if the teleports were symmetrical, then things would go wrong, right? Hmm. Don't know how I feel about this. No physical won't work against the list, but cold doesn't really work either. Try. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Cherno does Cherno is not good against these wisps. So I might want to try someone else who is more capable of handling the wisps. So I need somebody who nukes. Oh, well, Patchy, right? Easy switch. Except Patchy is frail and probably doesn't belong in second slot like Cherno can. Cherno can get away with second slot, she's bulky enough. Iku, on the other hand, could probably take that slot pretty easily. I'm not averse to using characters I'm not familiar with, I just don't like to do it. Down here. The teleporter. Oh, boy, one way. Where am I? Where am I on this map? Down, okay, I'm in the south. Took a bit to find myself. It didn't trap me in an area, did it? It's like, nope, this is a trap, you're not getting any further, you have to go back. That'd be mean. I don't expect them to do something that mean. Chen needs to find time to focus. Because I need her to kill the fish. Well, the swordfish variant anyway. Oh boy. It just got all fancy on me again. Box! I like boxes. Boxes are good. 3600 skill points, I'll take it. And this is another box, right? Okay, is this another 3600? No, it's a Machoke's bracelet. Great. What was to the right? Something tells me there's three one-way teleports, and I just found one of them. Great. And does this teleport me back to the start? That'd be chumpy. If it just teleported me straight back to the start, like, here you go, right back where you started. That'd be funny. Not really. He thinks they're Donic again. Mm. Yeah, just kill them. Okay, so the Wisp can handle both cold and lightning, and, a, and wind, pardon me. So Iku's not a good choice, Cherno's not a good choice. What am I supposed to do about these Wisps? 
Iku's not a good choice, and Cherno's not a good choice, so that means phew, wind and cold don't work against them. So it's gonna have to be fire or nature. Oh, hey, Minariko. Uh, except you should probably switch places with Alice. Okay. We'll try Minariko out. Maybe I can get Chin in the second slot. This still puts me all the way back here. Great. I am going to get a sheet of paper. I'm gonna be right back. Story time. In Natural Odyssey 1, you could draw your own map, and it allowed me to cut off sections that became useless. In this game, I have no idea what goes where, so I'm going to have to keep track of all of these event markers by myself, so I'm going to make a rough diagram of this floor's layout. I'm going to probably just like take a real life picture of this diagram and show it to you because it's it's incredibly simplified version of this floor. I'm gonna have circles where there's teleports, and when those teleports are pointless, I'm going to X them out. And as I said, this is a super simplified drawing of what this floor is. Let's see. Let's go. Down, uh, right and then down. Let's try this warp out. Just all the way over here. Uh, oh. I'm assuming these are interconnected, so if I go back, it's going to go to the same place. Yeah, okay, so... I'll put a 1 here, and put a 1 here, so I know that that teleport is number 1. it is, but I forgot what it was, so I'm going to check it again. And I assume this connects right back to it. So that's teleport. That's two. And this goes back to the square lower left corner. Yeah. So that's teleport two. I'm trying to make my twos as distinguished as possible, but sometimes it just isn't possible. So it seems like all these works are directly connected. Which is going to help loads when it comes to mapping this out. Okay, so that's a pointless warp. I love pointless warps, so just X that one out because it's pointless. And then we'll go back to that square by going down this way. Those platinum shells are incredibly difficult to pick off. Is wind good against them? No, it isn't. I already established that wind wasn't good against them, but I just tried it again anyway. Nature is good on them, though. So, weak to nature. There's a message in here. I'll have a... Can we go take, take this guy off? Okay, so we'll go back to two, and we'll start exploring new territory by going to the left. Oh boy, this is going to get really complicated really fast. At least that's what I anticipated doing. As I, as I said, my map is actually a super simplified version of what's going on right now. Minariko's gonna... Minariko's gonna clean this out, but it's... A damn pain is what this is. And we are down a, uh, a chin. We're down a cat. Okay, so Minariko's helped. Is there any... I don't have any nature people with me. Patchy can do... It has a nature spell, which is going to help, but, uh... We're kind of boned. This team likes its cold and wind too much. Doesn't have any nature girls. Maybe there just isn't that many nature girls. Okay. Teleport. And I assume, of course, that this teleport is connected, so this is there. Oh, 
not sure what to make of this. I'm all for the sake of being complicated for the sake of being complicated, but I don't like it when it's complicated, complicated, complicated. Um, both it. Okay then. So this is a thin square. That crawls in on itself. But it doesn't lead anywhere. I'm really enjoying this. Let us get back come back in. Oh, and this is only the first episode for this. <laughs> yeah. I am already fretting editing this because I already know what it's going to be like. At least I'm only doing 30 minute sections. Okay, got this. New territory. No, it doesn't go anywhere. Cool, so I don't have to edit my map in any way. Okay, and this climbs along the side of this. Lead somewhere. I'm gonna kinda have to bridge my map just a bit, because I didn't draw it exactly to scale. They, they're, they're smart now, they put the slash rippers on the right. So the game designer is being clever. Putting enemies that are fast and hard to and hit hard on the right instead of on the left. Is this good enough to kill these two? No. It isn't. I think I should have known that. Oh well. Phoenix Red can deal with this because those things seem to be pretty slow. Hmm. Already approach encroaching on that 30 minute man. Where am I? Far left. Oh hey, it's Kamashi. Hello, Kamashi. Oh boy, a floor above is really big. That's comforting, said no one. Whatever. Yeah, so you're always lacking. So if Kamashi's here, that means Chikiyaki's here. Uh, okay, so we have to do Kamashi's work. Okay, so kind of working with Kamashi, kind of not. Oh man, I'm lost already. I? Oh boy, and Chen doesn't have any SP. It keeps evaporating. Good. Jesus Christ, these things take do so much damage. They do so much damage. And Cherno doesn't do too much damage to these guys. Great. I don't think Secret Dolls is going to do this. No, it isn't. This is the part where I'd use a Phoenix Spread Wing, but I don't have any SP, so I have to focus. Rip. No, not rip. Good. And that is the different speed down provides. Gives time for Millie to swoop in and get that guy killed. And for Jen to focus again. And return. Let's go ahead and get Yugi and uh, Marissa in here. And that one is useless. Great, we found another dud. I love duds. Said no one ever. I really don't like duds. Ah, the good thing about those knowledge guys is they can easily be killed by normal attacks. Another forbidden tablet and an armored shell. Okay. And we've hit our curfew. Ah. Man. 
No, may as well call it there. This might be a short one, and it might be merged with the next episode. I don't know how I'm going to handle it, but... Uh, places like this are annoying. <laughs>